Welcome. Today, I'm in Badger Dingle. If you didn't get it from the thumbnail, pretty obvious now, eh? Badger Dingle, over near Bridge North in Shropshire. And I'm gonna make my way down, I can hear the running water. Um, there are waterfalls, there's well, to Dingle, so it's little streams and all sorts. But I've come across, before we get in there, this. Now this, to my knowledge, used to be an ice house. And even when all of the uh, dingle thawed out, I'm assuming whether this is after the ice, I don't know when, but um, yeah, it was an ice house and it kept ice inside because of how thick the walls were. I'm assuming it's sort of man-made into the rock. Um, I don't know much more other than the fact that apparently it used to be an ice house. So um, yeah, let's make our way down to the dingle and I'm gonna try and get some nice shots today. I've got time, I can take my time to, um, try and set up nice compositions and, and go through it a little bit more today. So that's my plan. So it might be slightly more educational than the, uh, than the last video. Um, and I won't be burying anything, so that'll be a bonus. So we're gonna head down, there's more than one way to go. I'm just gonna pick one, see where we end up. But it's, uh, it's quiet, it's hard to find, in all fairness. Bit of a, bit of a mission to find it. But um, yeah, let's go, stick with us. almost tropical. Now, as you can tell by the sound of the water, we have found our first waterfall. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can go and get some sort of cool composition. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna go and get in the water. It might even be a shoes off job and just, just go and get in it and get a shot that not many people would brave. Um, I'm not gonna try balancing on that log. It doesn't look too deep. So yeah, I'm gonna see, see what we can set up and then we'll talk for it a bit more. Um, as you can see, we have the waterfall. So at the moment, I'm not quite in the water yet, but I probably will be in a minute. I think I'm gonna go and stand right in it up there. So I've got it in bold mode. I'm at F, what are we at? F5.6, and I'm just gonna leave it for three or four minutes with a 10 stop filter on. I'm gonna see how that comes out and then I can gauge it from there. There are apps that tell you how to learn the exposure and all that sort of business, but quite frankly, I'll just test it. I'll just go for it and see what happens. So we're gonna get some smooth water, some water coming down, and we'll see. And then we'll go check out some more of the dingle, but I think I'm gonna get my shoes and socks off. So I'll put this shot on now, and I've took a few more of the waterfall from different angles. So I'll run a few shots of the waterfall, and then we'll get to another spot. Stick with us. I'm in the water. I'll tell you what, it's bloody cold. <laughs> my heart is thumping out of my chest. It feels like it's warming up a bit, but um, anyway, we're gonna try another one again, sort of two minutes, something like that, I think. I'm gonna try a few different ones. I'll try without the um, without a filter on, see if we get one or two seconds. But we want the smooth water. We want the lines coming in. We've got the sort of bit of foreground with this log here. Um, and obviously, yes, all the water's gonna be like smoke. So, like I say, it's all trial and error. I'm gonna move about a little bit, get some different compositions and see I just love it. It's proper nice. I've got to keep an eye on my bag as well, though, because there's uh, a few quid's worth of stuff in there. But I haven't seen anyone yet. So it's, it's, it's quiet, very quiet and very nice, honestly. And what a beautiful day, eh? Where, where has summer been? It's took a while to get here, let me tell you. But um, right, we'll let this run its thing. I'll put it on the screen. So I've moved forward a little bit. Um, yes. I'm quite a lot closer to the log now. Because what I found from the last shot was that this kind of water coming down and then in here is creating this kind of leading line up into the waterfall. I don't know if it really works or not because I think the bit the log in the middle might be too sort of in your face. But um, that's what I'm going for. So I'm going to see if you've got that log as sort of foreground interest, the white leading line taking you up into the waterfall and then you can go and study the waterfall for a few seconds. So um, 
that's what we're going to run with now, a bit closer, and then I might try a landscape one as well, getting a bit closer still, and just get that waterfall real sort of punchy and smoky. But um, that's what we're going to go for. So again, I'll run a few more on the screen. I now have a very dodgy setup, but it's been a while since I featured the lens ball, and I bought it today, and I was like, I'm gonna get some nice shots through this woodland and this dingle. So this is the first one I'm going for. What? I'm gonna go right down there, through that. It's gonna look mint. Right, back on dry land. So that's that bit done. What a spot. So I'm gonna walk up now, up into a village, um, and just go see what other shots we've got to be got. I'm sure there's more to the dingle than this, but I don't know, maybe this is just the main bit of the dingle. But I'm gonna go and have a little uh, a walk along some paths. So stick with us and see if we find anything else. Just like that, middle of nowhere. I've sort of walked through the dingle and out the other side. Now there can't just be one waterfall and that's the dingle. But maybe it is, maybe this is all classed as the dingle and that is the main waterfall. So um, yeah, I'm gonna keep exploring. So there's gonna be some more pictures because it's not just about the waterfall. It wasn't a waterfall vlog, it was a, a dingle. So I'm gonna, there's another path that goes down the side here. This one all the way over there. That's Clee Hill, highest hill in Shropshire. But the view isn't as good as some of the other hills to be totally honest. But yeah, what a what a spot, this little woodland, absolute hidden little gem. Beautiful, honestly, in the day, lovely day, a bit of contrast in the sky. So I did see a few bits on the way in, actually, a few little spots that I might stop at on the way out and get a few shots. Probably won't put them in the vlog, but you know, you've got the sun coming over these fields here of whatever these um these grass are, corn or whatever it is. Um but yeah, cracking. Might get a few shots on. Let's go. walked about 45 minutes, no, I'm about half hour, one way along this tiny path, bloody gnats everywhere and all sorts, little bees nest actually, that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, and then it doesn't go anywhere. So I've got to walk all the way back. So that sucks. Um, I don't, I've really don't know what else there is to explore. Um, I can see stuff down here, there's some like old ruins and stuff like that, you know, from Victorian days or something, like a big, a big brick wall. But I can't work out how to get to any of it. So I'm gonna keep trying. So don't go just yet and if you like what you've seen you know if i've smashed the pictures so far give it a like and a subscribe if you want to help me out with any new gear look at this shit all over my face bloody hell if you want to help me <laughs> help me out with any new gear paypal link down below i know it's cheeky but sod it the americans do it i'm gonna right let's carry on and this side's very nice it's in the sun a bit more so it's a bit hot but you've got the sun coming through just on leaves, I don't know how bright this is going to be or what, but you know what I mean, you've got the, the sun breaking through on the backs of the leaves and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and get a few sort of abstract shots, so to speak, you know, really get the light right so the dark to dark and the leaves are popping. I'm going to see if we can get a few shots like that and then there's fish splashing about and all sorts. Honestly, badger dingle. 
bloody beautiful. Shropshire has so many of these hidden little gems. Uh, just the only people I've seen actually, three old guys um, going on some big fancy walk around here and off into little villages and that. And he was telling me that there's some more sort of ponds up the back and stuff, but they're a bit of a trek. They're about a five mile walk. So I'm not going to them today, but yeah, an absolutely stunning little place. Stunning. Honestly, I know I go on. <laughs> I'm not just making it up. This you could be abroad. It's kind of like, um, like a little kind of island, almost like something out of bloody King Kong or something. You know what I mean? These rock formations. I'm assuming this was the original. You know, it's been carved out of water and whatever over the years, hence the dingle. But look at this as well. This is someone's back garden. Obviously, I'm not going to go in it. But imagine this was your house. Look at this. What an incredible place. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit annoyed I walked up the bloody wrong side of it first because that took me forever and then I just got nowhere and got stung all down my arms and everything. But this side, you can sit down here now. Oh, you could have yourself a bloody picnic. I haven't got a picnic or a beer, a bit gutted. But I might just go and check out down by the water and see if there's anything to be had. Apparently you get otters around here as well. Obviously I doubt they'd be in this bit, probably more the stream, the other side. But yeah, I'm going to walk a little bit further, see what's there. And if not, I'm going to come back here and... Uh, See what we got. It's a long vlog, sorry. But absolute stunning. Um, blown away, I'm blown away. Dude. Ah, oh, check this little bad boy. <laughs> Don't jump, buddy. There we go. Check that little bad boy. Oh, see ya. Let's put him in the water. You get too hot out here, mate. I'll tell you what, the perks of doing it on a phone. I'm gonna sit here and edit my pictures. So they might be crap. <laughs> but no, bliss. Utter bliss. I've never found a spot like this. So yeah, until the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.